Bonnie. Today we are going to read Harry by the Sea. This book is by Jean Zion and pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry by the Sea by Jean Zion, pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything about the seashore except the hot sun. He liked everything except the hot sun. One day when the sun was hotter than ever, Harry looked for a shady place to sit. But when he tried to get under the family's beach umbrella, it was too crowded and the family made him leave. Oh, poor Harry. They made him go away. Yeah. When he crawled into the children's sandcastle, <gasps> look at, he's going in the sandcastle. <gasps> the walls fell in and the children chased him away. He chased him away. Poor Harry. When he walked in the shade that another lady made, look at he's walking in her, it's her shadow, right? Yeah. She became angry and made him stop, stop following her. Get lost, she said. She was very annoyed. Oh, she told him to get lost. It does look very hot. Look at that big bright sun. The sun was very hot and Harry had walked a long way from the main beach. He was tired, so he sat down at the water's edge. All of a sudden, a big wave came from behind and crashed right on top of him. <gasps> look at that wave came right on top of him. <gasps> oh, look at that. When the wave rolled back, Harry was left floating in the water. He was completely covered with seaweed. He didn't look like a dog anymore. <gasps> He looked like something from the bottom of the sea. Oh my goodness, he had seaweed on him and he did not look like a dog. He looked, he looked like maybe, hmm, a scary creature. A sea monster. A sea monster. And he was, uh, and he was very, no, um, where'd it go? Hmm. Where did the messy go? Oh, messy. Messy. Very messy. Suddenly, a lady saw him floating toward her. Help, 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 help. She shrieked. It's a sea monster. The lifeguard heard her and he blew his whistle. Everybody out, he shouted, everybody out. So he is having them all get out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, because they think he's a monster. Oh goodness. Everyone ran out. They all ran out yeah. of the water and so did Harry. He was still covered with cold, wet seaweed. It made him feel cool and comfortable and now he didn't mind the sun at all. <coughs> Excuse me. He felt so good. He started running back to his family. On his way, some people saw him. It's a sea serpent, one of them screamed. It's a giant sandworm, shrieked another. Harry had water in his ears and could hardly hear them. He kept on running toward the main beach. When he got there, Harry stopped, he stopped, and he stared. Instead of just his family's umbrella, 
Now, there were hundreds of them. They were all striped, just like his family's. Harry could not tell one umbrella from another. Look at all those umbrellas. They all look the exact same. They all look the same with their stripes. Suddenly, two beach attendants saw. Holy smoke, one of them gasped. What? What's that? Do we have that? What's, what's that? It's a bushy-backed sea slug, exclaimed the other. They whispered for a moment, and then they ran. They think he's a sea slug. What's a sea slug? I'm guessing a slug that lives in the sea. Harry went from umbrella to umbrella, but he couldn't find his family. Everyone wore sun hats and sunglasses, and everyone used suntan oil, just like his family. He looked and sniffed very hard, but it was no use. He couldn't tell one family from another. So he is looking, or he's trying to find his family, but they all look the same. Suddenly, the two attendants came running back, carrying a big, a big trash basket. They ran toward Harry. Stand back, one of them said to the crowd. We're, we're going to catch it and take it to the aquarium, said the other. <gasps> They're going to try to catch Harry. But they don't know it's Harry. Then they tiptoed right up behind Harry and raised the trash basket over his head. Harry didn't know the beach attendants were behind him. He was listening to something. He thought he heard someone calling his name. There it was again. Harry, Harry, Harry. Now Harry was sure. He didn't wait another second. Just as the basket came down. <gasps> what do you think he's going to do? Run. I think he's going to go towards who he hears calling. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> he ran. He ran right out from under the basket. It happened so fast, the beach attendants just stood there with their mouths open. With their mouths open. Oh, we don't have open or closed. As he raced through the crowd, some people screamed, some people ran, and some people did both. But Harry paid no attention. He kept on running across the beach. When we got to the hot dog stand, he stopped and barked happily. Behind the counter, the hot dog man was shouting. It was his voice that Harry had heard, but Harry had water in his ears and couldn't hear very well. Hmm. The man wasn't shouting, Harry, Harry, Harry. He was shouting, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get, get them while they're hot. Harry still thought the man was calling his name. He barked and jumped with joy. He jumped so much that suddenly the seaweed all fell off. When the crowd saw that Harry was a dog, they gasped. They could hardly believe their eyes. All at once, Harry began to jump higher than ever. <laughs> he saw the children. They were running toward him. Oh, Harry, they cried. We heard you bark. We've been looking all over for you. Harry was so happy, so happy, he did a little dance. A little dance. The hot dog man was very grateful to Harry for bringing the crowd to a stand. He sold all the hot dogs he had. He gave Harry a free hamburger, and the lady who had told Harry to get lost came along and brought him a cold drink. 
You're no sea monster, she said. You're just a lost hot dog. Everyone laughed except the two children. <laughs> he's, he's not lost, one of them said. He's Harry and he's ours. He's Harry and he's ours. Then they hurried off to join the rest of the family. The next time, Harry's family went to the beach, they brought a new umbrella. Harry liked this one very much. It was white with black spots. Oh, that is Just the- Just like Harry. Yeah, that is the same as Harry. It looks, it looks just like him. <laughs> Harry liked this one very much. No matter how crowded the beach became, it was easy to find. But best of all, it was big. And when the sun got very hot, there was room underneath for them all. So look, they all can fit under the beach umbrella. Well, we hope you like that story. And we hope you can all get under a beach umbrella sometime this summer. Bye.